Hello everybody, Stevie T here, and I wanted to do this video. Uh, I was led by Spirit to do a, a whole video, um, just 10 minutes or so, on the concept or idea of and or about life purpose. First of all, Spirit wants me to remind all of us, we are already doing what is our life, our life's purpose. And what this video is really about is if you're asking yourself or anyone else is asking you or you're hearing it somewhere else, what's the biggest con uh, contribution I can make on this earth at this time? And simply put, the answer really is your vibration. Your vibration, the way that you are with the sum total of your thoughts, your mm, speech, your emotions, where you choose to gravitate toward on purpose, what you choose to put into your body. So wholesome food, mm -hmm, wholesome drink, uh, things that do your body good. So uh, for all of us, that could be something different. Uh, for example, milk would not do my body good. However, what would do my body good is water. And so we're so much made up of water as it is. So water is a very good way to ra the raise a vibration as well as the people that you invite in your life and the people that you hang out with and the conversations you will entertain and even the people you will engage in or practice the law of non-engagement with. All of these things and much more contribute to our vibration. And why is it that our vibration is the biggest contribution that we can make at this time on planet Earth? Simply put, from them, from spirit, angels, archangels, ascended masters, masters, teachers, loved ones, light beings of love and light of Christ consciousness, they all have to say, well, the reason that your vibration is your biggest contribution is because you as a, an emissary of light, you as a, a being that chose here, chose to be here at this time, we are all anchoring the light and in, into our feet as well, grounding it into the earth, into Gaia. And so um, in this planet of free will, in this planet and experience of free will choices and choice making, uh, it is very important that we choose things that honor us, well, the places that we live, places that we socialize, places that we work, the people that we work with, the roommates that we have or don't have. It goes on and on and on. So drawing healthy emotional boundaries um, with ourselves and, and others uh, respectfully and with compassion and love is a really good way too, to um, balance out the equation, so to speak, so that you're never overstepping your boundaries and therefore leading you possibly to a place where your vibration could go down. So we're holding lights as beings on this planet at this time. Gaia is ascending. The divine feminine, divine mother energy is coming to correct course on planets, although in spirit's eyes, there's nothing wrong here on planet Earth. Uh, the contrast serves as you, you, many of you may have heard Abraham Hicks say, or the teacher Abraham. Uh, so the contrast serves, and it's our vibration that which is our biggest contribution. So if you wake up and you feel on certain days or at certain times of the day, wow, I'm not really at my best right now. Oh, you know, I wish I could feel more joy and happiness right now, or feeling that you should be something other than where you are, uh, being somewhere other than where you are, or feeling something that you are not, that is when it's time to close your eyes, take a breath. And I would even say five second inhales and five second exhales. And just center yourself. Like it's you in the right here, right now. And that's all that there really is, is the ever rippling now. And get yourself in that space and remind yourself the fact that you are here and decided not to take yourself off planet, okay? and you decided to stay here, you're a master. You are a master. We're all ascended masters. We're all masters. We're all teachers. We're all students. And uh, so 
take yourself, put center yourself and understand, realign, remind yourself, you know, my vibration, it's not about um, how much money I throw at this or if I go to Africa and help with that or if I go and be aid relief to some war-torn part of the world, something as simple as, now big things are small things and small things are the big things. There's no competition. They're saying something as small as, as small as you're concentrating on your vibration and getting that high, that, and you know it's high when you feel good. That is the best contribution in any moment any of us could be having and we actually are making, whether we realize it or not, based on our point of attraction, how we feel and the thoughts that we're thinking. And again, many things that were listed at the beginning of this video. So thank you very much for listening today to today's very important message. Spirit wanted me to have this be one of the very first videos that I uh, put out um, after being gone for such a while. And uh, they say, Teach people, let them remember that uh, that it's not, you know, success isn't always what it appears to be. It doesn't always have to look a certain way. And I say that, and they are saying that with and through me and as the, facilit the facilitator to encourage us and to remind us that it ends and begins with us and our vibration is what matters most that is making the biggest contribution because the less people on this planet, the less people that can add to Gaia, Mother Earth's light. The more people on the planet, the more people there then anchoring light into Gaia. And so consciously connect with Gaia, the pit, the core of Mother Earth, as often as you want and at least imagine it in your being because you're not separate from source you're not separate from gaia we're not separate from each other uh, not separate from the lighting in this room not separate from the flowers over here not separate from the tapestry not separate from the ring and neither of you we're not separate it's all as one so honoring that and remembering that that is a huge accomplishment round of applause if all you could do all day was instead of oh i gotta do this and do that is stayed in bed or on your couch and gave yourself some self-love. Maybe you did some self-reiki or you did something with an energy healing modality, whatever it is, uh, turning inward and, and really showing your heart and your and your inner child the love that you need to rise to raise your vibration up so you could rise once more. If that's all that you were able to do, Give yourself a round of applause. That's a lot because our vibration matters that much. And so the next time someone sits with you or asks you a question and they say, why, why be so choosy? Why be so picky? And you say, because the way I feel matters and the way I feel has everything to do with all that I am and the experience that I will have on this earth as a creator and a co-creator. And because I said so, <laughs> that's one spirit's like, cause I said so. So thank you very much. If you'd like to have a private meeting with me, I'm a psychic and a medium. Uh, you can go to stevietrmt.com. That's stevie T Reiki master teacher, rmt.com. I'm also, I don't know if I should say this yet. I'm going to hold it to the next video. Okay, so next video, I will talk about what's happening this summer. So thanks very much, and I will see you soon. Cheers. Molly, come here. Come here. Come here, Molly. Come here. Come here. I'm going to show you guys Molly, for those of you that stuck around. This is my little kitty. Molly. Oh, say hello. Mm -hmm. These are these are brand new jeans. <laughs> Not jeans, but what have you. Namaste.